so in this video we are going to see what are the controlling area components so before using the components of the controlling area like cost center accounting profit center accounting we have to make them active so let's go in the system and activate the controlling area components for our controlling area so go to configuration screen spro reference img controlling general controlling organization maintain controlling area so we are going to maintain the controlling area go to our own controlling area 1214 and i am going to make the components active so go to new new entries so these are the components for maintaining the controlling area so first option is the fiscal year so we are going to maintain the fiscal year if we want to upload the data in the controlling module for the previous fiscal years so if we, my current fiscal year is 2022 but if we if i want to maintain the data in the controlling module for the previous years so i can make them the changes and start is start from the 2015 so this is used to upload the historical data in the controlling module so the next component is cost center so cost center accounting is used to analyze the actual and plan cost in the cost center so mostly we are going to man maintain the cost center as departments and we are going to analyze the departmental cost using the cost centers so if we want to use the cost center accounting we have to maintain and make them make this component active so the next is activity type so multiple activity types are used in the system like labor hour machine hour so these are the activities so if we if we are going to maintain and calculate the activity price like what is the activity price per hour of labor so we have to make this active so order management is used we are going to calculate the product cost so for the scenario of product cost by order so both the internal order uh, process order production order internal order is also included in the order management so we have to make the order management active if we are going to use the internal order process order and uh, production order so for that scenario we are going to make the order management as active component so commitment what is commitment commitment is booked when we are going to raise the purchase order against any vendor so before posting the invoice system is going to make the commitment as we are we have issued the legal document of purchase order to the vendor so we are in bond to the vendor to pay after the delivery of goods so what the system is going to do it is posting the commitment amount with the amount of the purchase order so if we want to maintain the commitments so we are going to come activate this component as well so what is activity based costing activity based costing is used to calculate the uh, prices of activities and calculate the prices of products on the basis of activity based like we are going to calculate the uh, prices of the finished goods we produced in our production on the basis of activities so if we are going to use the activity based costing then we are going to make them active so profitability analysis is the two types of profitability analysis are used in the system one is account based and costing based so we have already discussed about these two options so we are going to make them active when we are configured the operating concern to use the profitability analysis 
so the next item is projects so if our company is using the project system module like FICO it is uh, there is another module of project system to manage the projects of our company so if we are going to integrate the projects with the controlling module so we are going to make this active as well so sale order sale order is used when we are going to make use the make to order production product cost scenario like uh, we are going to manufacture the good uh, when we have received the sales order so at that time sales order is as working as a cost object so in that scenario we are going to make this object active so this is the commitment item so like this uh, commitment management system is going to book the commitment amount on the basis of sales order as well so cost object like cost center if we are going to use all the cost objects so we are going to make this active so another one is real estate management real estate management is used when we are working in a real estate industry so there is another module of uh, reflexible real estate management so for that scenario if we want to integrate the refx module to the controlling so for that case we are going to make this active so another one option is all currencies variances if we are going to calculate the variances uh, between the purchase order price and invoice price so we are going to make this active so company code validation is used if we are going to post within the two company codes like uh, if our call centers are created under the controlling area but these both call centers are working in different company codes so if we are going to post from one company to another company of the same call center so system will validate the company codes of of the both call centers and it will produce any produce the error so it will restrict the user to post the amount in any call center from one company code to another company code so it will validate and generate the error so for this case we are going to check out this option for our case i am only using one company code under one controlling area so it is default so these are the components used for controlling area so i have already created the con controlling area and assigned to the company code so you can see system automatically picks the nine the triple nine fiscal year so this is the end so system will start the posting from 2015 to 999 fiscal year so these are the components of the controlling area so thank you for watching that's all for this video